graphic extras. In this video I'm just going to show you the libraries feature that comes with Illustrator CC 2014.2. In particular I'm going to show you, you can use it with the symbols, swatches, brushes etc. Great resources and first thing to do I'm just going to go for the swatches. So I'll just drag the swatches over here so it just stands out and just create a star, star design and I'm just going to drag that to swatches so you add a star there. I'm going to remove that. Next thing to do, just going to create a path and fill that with the stars. And I can drag that now, it's called Artwork 5, over into the libraries. Now, if you haven't got libraries, like say Window and Libraries, you can also create a new library for other resources just via the Create New Library feature. Okay, so you've got this design here. Now, if I actually bring this back in to an artboard, it still remains as I think it's not just a path filled with a thing, it's not sort of frozen. You can actually just go over here and select another path, and those swatches fill the other path as well. Simple as that. Very, very useful sort of way of storing swatches. And of course, if you actually get rid of these swatches, no, you can actually just get rid of it. So I'm just going to delete that and delete that. And I can go over here, obviously, and just delete all those swatches. Yes, delete. And now I'll drag that over. Or maybe drag one of these others, which were ones created earlier. I can still go back to this one, and it's still a swatch. And when you do that, you can see it's actually added over here to the swatches palette. And if you use another path, it's stored and displayed as a swatch as well. OK. Next thing, I'm just going to go to the symbols. So I'll just get rid of those, remove swatches, and here's the symbols palette. And again, go for a very basic design star. I don't want it filled with swatches, so I'm just going to go for a blue star. And of course, you can maybe add other paths as well. Reduce the size of that so you can see both. Select that and drag that over there. Click OK. Remove that and now drag that to the. Unfortunately, it doesn't go from there. If you actually drag that over, it doesn't seem to do anything. It just doesn't drag it, go into the library. <clears throat> so you have to port it over to the artboard and then from the artboard over to there. So it actually stores it there. Right. Now, I can actually remove, and I'm going to remove all those, so I just get rid of that lot. Yes. So now, if I drag that artwork back again, there you have it. It's basically returned as a symbol. So, again, symbols are stored, swatches are stored, and same with, and I'm just going to create a straight line, and I'm going to add a brush stroke. So, just charcoal pencil, uh, just set size that's so more visible. Okay, now I can just drag that over here to the artwork, over to libraries. So it's stored there, artwork seven. Now it would be nice actually if it said this is a brush or this is a symbol, but it doesn't say that. Maybe in another version. Okay, so now if I want to, I can just drag that from there and apply there. But of course, just quickly show you brushes. So I'm going to quickly get rid of that one so remove all of those can't get rid of that one let's get rid of as always just have to quickly say select all unused delete that one yeah right so I've removed that one now I can drag it over here for graphics and straight away you can see the brush has been stored so it's a quick and easy way of storing maybe hundreds of different brushes which you can just drag quickly from your library onto the artboard and you get the brush back without having to go back to basically the brushes library all the symbol all the swatches they're all stored in this wonderful little libraries resource over here which you could use for well obviously for a project or any other design work you do and then you can just group certain brushes, certain symbols together. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.